Good morning. I hope you guys are having a good morning. Um, we are on day nine of our Names of God study, and today's name is Jehovah Shema. And um, this name of God means the Lord is there. And um, it's a little bit different in that um, the verse that I chose is Ezekiel 4720, which says on the west side, the Mediterranean Sea will be the boundary to a point opposite Lebo Hamath this will be the western boundary. So there's not really a name of God mentioned here, but it's implied in that um, this was during a time when Ezekiel was prophesying to the children of Israel. And they had been in captivity a long time and they were really struggling and they really needed to have some hope. And because of that, God sent Ezekiel to prophesy about the promised land that they were going to receive. And because of that, it, he, he, and he went into great detail. He described exactly how it was going to work and how they were going to divide it up among the 12 tribes and all of that. And he did that because he wanted to give the children hope for their future. And he wanted them to know that even though they felt abandoned, he was still there. And so us in our time of need can also depend on God to be there. When I was um, in my 30s, I lost my grandfather to a horrible tractor accident. Um, and while it was, it was literally probably the hardest, hardest time of my life ever. And um, because my grandfather pretty much raised me, my dad was a my dad was present in my life, but he was an NFL player, and he was always gone to games. And my parents were not married, so I didn't get to see him very often. But his father, my papa, um, was the man in my life that taught me what a man should be. And so when I lost him, it was it, it for two years I was lost. I mean, it it took me over the edge. And, but I can remember in the moment falling to my knees in my kitchen when I found out what happened and just crying out to God to be there for me and to, to help me through. And the worst part about that was that my husband, who was a musician, was leaving that day on a 10 day tour to Colorado with his band. My best friend was leaving on a cruise for a week that same day. So the two people that I would rely on to get me through were not there. And I, I, now I look back on that and I know that was God deliberately putting me in a situation where I had to depend on him. I had to trust him to be there. He was the only thing I had. And that moment was an eye opener for me because I realized not only how strong I was as a person because God gave me strength, but also how much God is present in my life. He is overseeing everything and he is always there to comfort me and always there to love me and always there to pick me up when I failed and always there to, to help me when I was struggling. And so this name, Jehovah Shema, is just to me beautiful because it tells me God is always there. So I hope this has encouraged you today. If you are struggling, cry out to God. He is there. He is ready and willing to show up and help you through whatever you're facing. I love you guys. We'll see you later.